Okay, so welcome back, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this little grav grav tube I've invented. Um, this is a universal version. It's got enough power and thrust to move itself. I did kind of make it in a pattern, so it doesn't need to look like that, but it's got enough to leave, leave orbit and land and be moved around with no problem. Also use some power tanks mainly just for lighting on the grav platform, but um, effectively what you've got is a core in the middle, because I want to show something else a way that you can actually have junctions um, sort of halfway down if you want um, and this is the plan um, if you look in this I've made it so that it can be on its side upside down or on its front so at the moment it's on its side and I can't remember which way round the core is so I'm just gonna go in here now there's a few things I worked out actually from doing these experiments um, it doesn't work unless you're stood on unless you're stood on a part of the ship because the gravity is sort of cast above the, above the block. So, you know, if you're stood on a gravity block and you hit it, you will go up. But if you move outside of that block, if you move to the left, the right, forward or back, then it would, the, the, you know, the effect stops working. Um, actually, I can show you that here. If I go R, it takes me to space, right? I showed you that one already. So here I am in space. Right, now, if I do this again, only if I, whoops, if I move off the, off the platform, there, see? I walked backwards and I came off the platform, which meant that I was back in the planet gravity, because it's determined by, if the astronaut is above the planet, you're in the planet's gravity. If you're above a block which is part of the ship, then you're in ship gravity. Okay, <clears throat> so that being said, <clears throat> Just making a tube didn't work because um, over over here in the last video I went zooming across the whole planet. You can just about see the glass over there. Now the reason that worked is because I was sitting over the top of the glass all the way down the column. And if you remember in the video I stopped halfway and I was like, ah, oh, I can get off, that's pretty cool. And that's because I'd hit, I'd strafed to the left and gone over the planet and of course it took me out of the gravity. So it's worth noting here, if I was to hit, see, nothing happens, right? Nothing happens if I hit the gravity on the back. If I come in here, I've got ship underneath me, and I think the ship is that end. I'm not 100%, right, let's do it. So I hit the button, right? Now it's gonna be a bit disorienting, but yeah, so I am actually at the bottom of the lift already. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now currently stood on the side, and look, as soon as I went out to the to the lip there, it put me back in the planet's gravity because these blocks under here. You see, I just wanted to go over all that stuff because it's like, that's how it works. If you don't get that right, then it won't ever work. There's like certain concepts here that, that will only work one way. But anyway, if I now go hit the gravity, now I'm in the ship. Now this is why I've made a little ledge here. So you don't just immediately fall. You know, you can wait for people and go at the same time or choose when you want to go. Also, the core being halfway, like I say, I'm going to drop down, land on the core. So now I'm halfway down, halfway down the corridor. So if I wanted, I could put, I could put a doorway in here and jump out at this point and exit the tube wherever I want. See what I mean? So, <clears throat> anyway. The main way to use it is jump in, hit the gravity, and then um, move off the edge. And then you're at the other end of the tunnel. Doesn't matter how long it is. It has to be a ship, which is its own entity, but I think I've figured out how to dock it up now. All I have to do is put the core on the bottom, and then the gravity unit at the top will still drop down. I just need a bunch of extenders. I was gonna do it with a turret, but I couldn't actually angle the turrets at the moment, so I'm gonna wait until that's fixed. I think that's a, I think that is a known issue. And obviously, you could just walk this distance, but it's this small for demonstration purposes. I didn't want to be going to one end and then having to fly up the other end like I did with this uh, the giant one. So, that's that. Right, I'll be back in a few seconds when I just sort of advance this on a, a little bit more for you guys.
Right then, so welcome back and uh, finished messing about. <clears throat> I made a little structure that was 20 high and uh, 19 long and 20 wide. And um, yeah, I'm just using these. I haven't changed them very much. I'm just using these to get up to the top because obviously you can't jump that high in this game and you need the core otherwise. Now these tubes can be as high as they want and I recommend putting the core at the bottom so you can dock them and they don't get bounced around. <coughs> so uh, basically you get in, you hit the gravity, dodge the middle bit, get to the end. This would be the way I want to get out so we uh, walk out of here. Drops us into the next gravity. That was a bit of a touch and go on that one there. But anyway. And I'm using my pilot lifter to uh, get us into orbit <laughs> and then drop down to the next level. So that's another method. Okay, I'm just trying to put as many methods together because people were saying, oh, can't you get off halfway? And I think I showed that already. Um, you just have a block halfway up the chute. There's two ways of doing it, really. You can have a block halfway up the chute, like here, and it will stop halfway, and then you can jump out the side. Okay. <coughs> That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to have it so so that the because if you what look in here the floor is like quite wide. You got like a three by three floor there, so anybody that's in the three by three area there will fall. Um, and it works even to this ledge here. But as soon as you step off the edge, we revert back to planet gravity. So that's the way of doing it with a wide base. If you've got a narrow base like this one here. If I get in the gravity and just walk off, it'll it'll cancel out whenever I want it to cancel out. So I could cancel out here if I want. I think I'm getting a bit of... Uh, I think I'm keeping the momentum. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I'd love to record people doing this, but the server's currently down. I've got it in for maintenance, so hopefully it'll run better when it's finished. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm using this to launch myself up to whoops up to the next layer and then finally the last layer is sideways so I just wanted to demonstrate that that's a thing you know that's something you can do you can ride it you can stop halfway again just like before and these things can be going rotate them on their sides you can rotate them onto the front uh, that's why I've made them sort of like square so that they'll sit you know they'll sit <coughs> flat but as I demonstrated earlier in the video, you can also have them at 45 degrees, which is pretty cool. And I can't wait to film someone sliding uphill like that. That's going to be great. So that's pretty much where I'm at. As you can see over there, I did do a brief test with the turret. And you can see what I was going for there. Obviously, the bit that's sticking up on the left there it was just for me to climb up and test it out. But I don't think it works. Or if it does work... It doesn't allow me, because the whole point of putting it on the turret like that was so that I could angle it down. If you notice, I've got a little sort of angled block up there. And the idea was to make that sit on the floor flat. You could build the whole thing out of wedges and then it would sit at 45 degrees and look like a straight bar. See, I don't even think I can get up that. And obviously, because we're using a turret, it's positionable. Well, it should be positionable soon. They used to be. Still not working, huh? Hmm, I am a little confused by that. I've got to admit. Okay, well, let's add some more blocks. Because it could be because this will never work, you know. But I'm pretty sure it works with docked ships, so I can't see why it wouldn't work with a turret. Hmm. course I can't get to the side right if I put gravity on yeah see it won't let me enter gravity yeah. okay well anyway this one didn't work when I tried it out so it needs work um, the other ones work just fine <clears throat> but I would like I, I wanted to do it with you know with a turret because then you could get a 45 degree without worry of it bouncing off into outer space one day 
Because this is the thing, you know, if you build these corridors too complex or too high mass, the game might just decide that there's a mad collision going on and warp it out of the planet. And then if you have built a, a tunnel around it, it's a bit pointless. But anyway, that's where we're at so far. So a quick update on the grav tubes. I'd say it's going okay. I've got them going upwards and I've got them going sideways. I've got them going at 45 degrees. This one's about 15 high, so, you know, it's useful. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see where this is going because I, ideally I'd like to make it smaller. A bit like the one that went across the whole planet. In fact, just for laughs, we're going to go across that one again because, you know, it's fun. I'm totally going to make a water slide world. <laughs> right, here we go. Stand on. And boom. Whoa! <laughs> totally need a Superman skin. And play it backwards. Pro tip. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be sure to update this soon. I've got a couple more ships which I'm going to carry on doing my speed builds on. The repair ship is going to be first, followed by the sack. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.